So here we go, everybody. Welcome to Ditches Town Transfer Files, the show where we bring the lowdown and the insight on town transfer links. And today we're discussing Massimo Luongo, the former town loanee who's currently training with the Blues with Kieran McKenna. Run the rule over the 30 year old midfielder who's currently at Middlesbrough, but his deal with them does expire in January. He signed a short term deal with them in September from Sheffield Wednesday, but hasn't played a single minute for them. But I'm sure Kieran McKenna will be asking a few questions with Michael Carrick, who's good friend Michael Carrick, who's the Borough boss, and will be looking at Massimo in training in the next few weeks. Um, for me, this is very much a low risk deal. If it does happen, short term contract, we apply with a lot of pedigree. And we're going to get right through it right now. Um, of course, a player who joined town on loan in the 2012-13 season. 11 appearances, one goal. Of course, signing highly rated from Spurs. I will admit, I can't really remember that loan spell. It was 10 years ago and a lot has happened. A lot has happened in the world. Um, but if you can remember, hats off to you. Get in the comments down below your thoughts, your memories of that loan spell. But at the time, a very highly rated player from Spurs. And since then, he's played a lot of games in the Football League. Uh, he left Spurs. After his um, few years with them, of course, coming through their youth academy. Then joined Swindon, initially on loan, but then signed him permanently. He played over 100 appearances for them in League One. And I think the next spell, when he joined QPR, was where people knew more about him. Uh, that is when I sort of knew more about him. I knew he had a loan spell with us, but he played for QPR. And when he played against us, he was always a player that I looked out for and gone, oh, let's see how he gets on. He's played pretty well against us, actually, which is always annoying. But yeah, uh, signed for them in 2015. Played four seasons for them. Uh, was a key player for them in that time. Then joined Sheffield Wednesday in 2018. Of course, it was part of a team that got relegated to League One, but was a key part of their squad last year and was a really good player for them as they got to the playoffs in the third tier last campaign. Of course, they lost in the playoffs against Sunderland. They played 30 games for them, but then left in the summer and has now been at Borough this campaign, but hasn't played any minutes. And as I said, it will be a low-risk signing if this happens. Um, of course, he needs to get fully up to speed with his match sharpness and match fitness. But a player with a lot of experience. He's also capped for his country. He's capped for Australia. 43 caps in total. He hasn't won many caps for the last few years. But he was in the 20-man squad for the World Cup in Russia for Australia. But a man who's got a lot of experience. Of course, he's crossed paths with McKenna. Of course, McKenna was a coach at Spurs when Massimo was there. And for me, that's always a win-win when McKenna's had a bit of a relationship with him. Of course, a lot's changed since then. McKenna has gone to Man United. Massimo's got older. Played for many clubs. But I'm sure that's a nice little in-between thing as well to sort of have a little catch-up. Um, but yeah, short-term deal most likely for this one. And of course, Town are looking to add to their strength in midfield with the likes of Dominic Ball out injured. Pelucha Kamara with a hip problem and he's got some fitness issues as well. Lee Evans coming back is great. Cameron Humphrey and Sam Morsey are perfect as well. But to add more depth for that position is really what we want to see this month. And uh, we're going to see more, I'm sure, of midfielders being linked. But um, Maso Longo, I like this one. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts as well. Um, we shall see how this develops. Thanks again for watching. And we shall see many more transfer files soon. Bye-bye for now.